Dr. Muhammad, Iraq's most famous blogger, known as the last Iraqi, first, thank you so much for agreeing to join me in exchanging thoughts about Iraq. You're a 25-year-old dentist who's made one of the most despairing statements I've ever seen about your country. You say you want children, but you won't have any because they don't deserve to be born in Iraq. And you and your wife wondered how long it will be before how long you can stay in the country. The grim answer was, I believe, until one of you was killed. You say you can't find work in nearby Jordan among the million or so um, Iraqi refugees, and you and your family were treated like dirt and refused a visa when you tried to go on holiday in Jordan. So I wonder what you see as the future for you and your wife. No electricity, no fuel, no safety, no escape, just chaos, fear, and maybe death? Here in the West, the majority of people blame the uh, Bush government for all your problems. You don't seem to blame the Bush government so much as you blame the insurgents, rival militias whom you seem to fear more than the US. That puzzles me a bit, and you know, because the US and the British stormed into Iraq under false pretenses. They imposed a terribly conceived post-invasion plan. Yeah, they toppled Saddam, but surely none of the drastic consequences would have followed if they had not disbanded the Ba'athist army. They left a massive vacuum, and that allowed the insurgents to fill it with awesome power. I wonder, don't you want to, uh, the foreign invaders to get out? I mean, would you rather live under this um, uh, occupation? Isn't it better to be governed by your own people than by foreigners? Um, even though it would now take years before um, political and military stability can be re can return to Iraq. And these are tough questions, and I just l l long to hear what you have to, to, to say to them. Finally, Dr. Muhammad, I wonder if you have any solutions, any ideas that might allow you and your wife to live in Iraq without fear, without death, without but with hope, and above all with peace. And what can we in the West do to help? And thank you for listening to me. I really look forward to your answers. Bye-bye.